Hi and welcome to Outwell. Here we're going to give you some hints and some tips on how to pitch a large tunnel design tent. The tent that we're using here is our Georgia 7P which is from our premium collection but what we show you can be used for all of the tents within the premium collection. Once we've laid out our fly sheet, all we have to do is peg it into position using the anchor pegging points. Now these are colour coded grey to match the anchor pegs that we give you in our easy pegging system. A good idea once you've pegged out the back is just to make sure that when we're walking forward, we um, Pull the tent out at the sides here just to make sure that it's going to be a nice straight line. When you come to then peg in the front um, anchor pegging point here, just make sure again that the tent is in a straight line all the way running towards the back corner. So as you've seen, tents this size generally come in two different bags, one for the fly sheet itself and one for the poles. What we'll do now is just take the poles out of the bag and show you what to do next. So all we have to do is assemble the poles now, and this is made really easy because each pole has been pre-attached from one side to the other with the wire in between here to keep them together. So before putting the poles into the pole sleeves on the tent, a good idea here is to make sure that you open the front door and get some air inside the tent. This will make raising it up much, much easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the roof poles and place this in one of the middle pole sleeves. It doesn't really matter which one exactly, as long as it's not one of the end pole sleeves. Now all we're going to do is attach the side legs onto the roof pole and we're just going to raise that up into position. And from here, we're just going to simply ring and pin at the bottom of the poles to hold them in place. Once the pole is in position, all we have to do is take the plastic clips on the fly sheet and attach these to the poles just to make sure that whilst pitching the tent, it stays nice and stable. Once this has been done, all we need to do is repeat the process for the rest of the poles. Just remember that some of the poles will be colour-coded to match the colour-coded sleeves, making sure that you get the right pole in the right place. Now that all the poles are in position, just make sure that we close all the doors before pegging out the rest of the tent. Mm -hmm. 
Once you've closed down the doors, all we have to do is peg out all around the fly sheet. Again, just remember here that we're using our easy pegging system, so this is where we use the black plastic peg for all of the black pegging points. left to do is just attach on our wind stabiliser system and then take out all the luminous guy lines and put them into position as well. tent's pitched, all we have to do is just take the ground sheet and put that into the front area of the tent. When it comes to packing down your tent, a good idea is to try and make sure that the fly sheet is as dry as possible. If it's wet when you pack it away, just make sure that you try to dry it as quickly as you can once you're home. What we're going to do now is just show you how to fold this back to get it into its bag. So that was all of our hints and tips for pitching the tents from the premium collection. Thanks very much for watching. <music>